previously. All I have to do is press this button, and it breaks the game. And so we go. Hello, friends, my name's Renee, and welcome back to Slay the Spire! Modded. We are going to play another character today. I played the Elementalist last time, and I really, really liked the Elementalist, like, a lot. But we died, and it sucks. So, let's see. Let's play the Bandit. A thief has stole a magical board game, now she's bound to it. Sounds like Jumanji. Um, the hat at the start of combat, add a card to your hand that retains and moves up three spaces. What? Three spaces. Won't know unless I try. Oh my god. What is this nonsense? Hello again. I brought you back. What is this? I'm so confused. When landed on, gain two frail. Apply one weak to all enemies. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Oh. I can choose how many spaces to move up. One, two, three. I don't want to draw two cards. This is really interesting. I'm playing a board game. Move ten. Oh, Christ. And then if I move to here, and then one, two, three... And three. And then I play weak to all enemies. And then I move ten. <laughs> but it will move me up there. And I can kill him. No, I can't. Okay. What is kaboom? Land there, gain my energy, draw two cards. I want to know what Kaboom is. I don't know if it's good or bad. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty legit. And I'm going to take damage now, but I got to find out what Kaboom is. Nice. Cool. Double dash. <laughs> Deal three damage, move one, repeat this once. Mm. Mortalize. Uh, draw two cards, transform two random empty spaces into spaces with those card effects. Interesting. Deal four damage, activate the next two positive spaces. Ooh. This is really interesting. Ooh. If you have 50 or less gold at the end of combat, heal eight HP. Well, fuck. <laughs> Uh, not about to happen. Let's go this way. I want to know what these events are. Alright. So, moving 10 spaces will gain me one strength. So, let's do that. And then I can move two spaces and then. Uh, summon the Gremlin. Oh, God. Move three spaces. And then one, two, three. That space does nothing. <clears throat> All right. Activate the next two positive spaces, which is a card from your draw pile into your hand, transform it into an empty space, and gain four block. Moving two, we'll summon a gremlin. Let's move three. Aw. Shite. And then let's do this. That will put me there, and then that will put me there. Kind of. 
kind of don't want a lot of stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and just do this. I'll get the block. <coughs> All right. Nice. Moving two spaces. We'll put you there. Move me three, we'll put you on go and kill you. Cool. Uh, awesome. Alright. Endless blast. Delay to have a shot enemies. Transform a random empty space into a space with this card's effect. Cool. Apply one vulnerable, apply one weak, move one, move one. Hmm. Transform two empty spaces into damage spaces. Damage spaces deal three additional damage. Hmm. I really like that. I like this one too. Let's do this. Uh, expand understanding of air, feed your image of fire, learn to, wait, is that a bag of gold? Yes. Ooh, it was, a full of 50 gold pieces. Wait, what were you thinking about again? Eh, probably wasn't important. <laughs> All right, slimy space. Ooh, so encountering certain enemies does certain things to me too. That's really cool. All right, next two positive spaces would be one strength and four block. So let's go ahead and do that. So I want the strength. Hat move would put me on block. Or I could move to block. Nice. Defend would put me on void. But then I'd be past it. Could kill you, but I've got the range for it. Let's do this. All right, so let's do defend and move two for the extra energy. Grab Tempest Blades. Um, can't do that. I can do that, but I don't want to. Let's do this to move here, and then uh, let's do this to move past the slimy space. I really like board games. <laughs> Alright. Still 9 damage to all enemies. Still 9 damage to all enemies. You guys are dead. Cool. Dance dash. Deal 4 damage, move 2. Gain 2, block, move 2. Uh, deal 8 damage, transform a random empty space into a damage space. Transform 3 empty space into a weak space, a vulnerable space, and a frail space. Why would I do that? Oh, that's for them. Okay. Mm. Maybe I'm going to do this. Mechanical combatant. Hmm. Alright. Moving two will get me extra energy. So let's do that. Two, three will put me there. I don't really like that idea. All right. Um, yes. There, and the next two spaces will be gain energy and deal 9 damage. So let's actually do that. And then this. Then I can move 2 to gain energy again. And deal more damage. And gain block. Because I forgot it moves me. Alright. Mm-hmm. I do this first and then this, I'll gain block and energy. Or I could do uh, that damage twice. So let's do that. And then we're going to do this. This will move me there. And in my turn, take two damage. Uh, move three. Three and move three. Okay. Ah. 
Moving two will give me one strength, gain an extra energy, and one strength if I use a uh, happy hit. <sighs> no, we don't have vacant. We have sausage, though. Well, I guess I could just kill you with that. There we go. Point blank. Stuff this fire. Attacks that target multiple enemies deal 50% more damage if only enemy one enemy is in the room. Hell yes. Uh, I don't know if that works for my board game, though. Transform two random empty spaces into block spaces. Block spaces grant two block next turn. Cool. Whenever you pass, go gain one strength, one dexterity, move six. Cool. I think I want this. I like greater guard, but it only gives me two extra block for one turn. Um, Orialize and Elaborate Shrine. Yep, okay, let's do this. All right. Can add a kaboom to my hand. Should really block. Oh. Oh no. Whoops. Hold on. I forgot that that moves me. That's not good. Completely forgot that that moves me. Now I just have a random gremlin. Alright. Let's do this. Hat move would put me on kaboom. And then racing speed. One, two, three, four, five, six will put me on an empty space. So I can do this to land on Kaboom. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I can use. Hmm. Let's actually move here. Racing speed will put me at six, and then I can use a block next turn to grab the random upgrade. Okay. Moving two will deal nine damage to all enemies. One, two, three will deal nine damage to all enemies. Cool. And then in my turn, because I have plenty of block now. Ninja jump will put me on void. Step will put me uh, here. Defend will put me there. And do this, and then this, and you're dead. Cool. Bum rush. Deal 4 damage to all enemies twice. Activate the space 4 behind you. Smack flip. Deal 5 damage to all 2 cards. Remove 1. Move 5. Add X kaboom to your discard pile. Hmm. Interesting. And I can move 5. I like the idea of bum rush, though. Activate the space 4 behind you. Blood vial. Hell to the yeah. Alright. Moving six will apply to vulnerable to you, which I really like. Moving three won't do anything, so I can still do damage to you. Wake you up, though. Well, let's do it anyways. I'm going to move here to grab that. Right. Four behind me. One, two, three, four it will give me more vulnerable. I like it. I had some damaging spaces. I like the idea of that. And add a colorless card to my hand. This doesn't cost zero. Add a copy of this card to your discard pile that costs one less and does six damage. Mm, it does twenty damage though. Deal thirteen damage. If this kills a non minion enemy at the boltling tweets about it. What? I have no words. Alright, that will put me on taking six damage. This will draw extra cards. Um... I think I'm going to defend. And then striking will deal more damage to it. Yeah. 
I'll do that. And then I can only move up to three, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. Um, let's not do that. What if I step up? No. I can move three to draw an extra card. Four behind me doesn't do anything. I can step here and then deal nine damage. So let's do this and then bum rush you. And kind of meh. Hmm. Uh, right. Ooh. I kind of wanted to use that other card, but oh well. When your hand is full, if your hand is full when drawing a card, draw an extra card next turn instead. Oh, that's not going to happen. Key finisher. Ghost space is still 10 additional damage. Nice. 14 block. Transform two random empty spaces into spike spaces. Yeah. Happy birds. Transform two empty spaces into positive spaces. I like that, but I'm going to get key finisher. Dang. No tweet for me. Find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Okay. Uh. Um. So, could get a boom. Okay. Awesome. Wax seal. Red on the shop cost 20% less. Right click on the shop to activate. Borrow 100 gold. Add a curse to your deck until you pay it back. Nice. Boom, boom. Shuffle one kaboom into your draw pot and discard piles. Move one if you land on an empty space. Repeat this. Ooh. Null jump. Gain 8 block. Deal 10 damage. Move 5. Transform all spaces between start and destination into empty spaces. No, thank you. Take a nap, take a nap. All right. Uh, yeah. And then, yep. Hmm. 
Okay, cool. Sideways barrier. Again, eight blocks activate the space two behind you. Nice. Move any number of spaces. Exhaust. Ooh. Yeah. I would love an eighth. Gain 300% more, more gold from elite combat spells. Yes. What the fuck? Yes, please. Oh no. Why is this sideways? What is happening? So I go this way now? Why did they change it? Because it's a boss fight? I don't get it. Alright. Okay, let's see. Ow. Mm. Oh, Jesus. I completely forgot that moves me. I keep forgetting that. I'm glad that was a good thing. <sighs> okay. No, I wouldn't mind applying some wheat to you. Um, okay. Really wouldn't do that. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna land on those bad spaces, sorry. this to upgrade a random card in your hand yeah okay cool all right one two three four Cool. Now. Uh. Hell yeah. Okay, very long jump. Deal 15 damage move to all enemies. Move 15. Oh my god. Transform all negative spaces into empty spaces. Oh my. Activate all positive spaces. Massive party. I like that. 
This one's pretty cool, too. I kind of want the... I can just move wherever. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Raise your ascension level by five. Oh, boy. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Each six turns, a mini bot joins the battle. Energy at the start of your turn. Obtain a curse for every five future non curse cards added to your deck. I have a feeling that's going to be a major problem. Let's grab this one. Back to the jungle! Mushroom. Alright. Hey, it's a rat again. Uh, do this. And three. Three. <laughs> Injure. Mm. Oh, wow. We worked with five spaces. That was really lucky. mind doing this one. Yay. And you're dead. <laughs> Smack flip. Deal five damage, roll two cards, move one, hit from one, random empty space into a random rare space, exhausted two. I like this. Hello. Alright. Stuff the spire wired wildfire. Whenever you play three attacks in one turn, add a skill from your draw pile into your hand. Thesaurus, Halitan, Hal Halation. Mm -hmm. pick up, pick a non-special relic, transform it into the relic of the same rarity. Oh. Uh. Start of each combat, add a random card which exhausts to your hand. It costs zero until played. Hmm. Black bombs. Whenever a kaboom goes kaboom, at gains two block. Add one kaboom to your discard pile. Charge fourth. We have immortalized. We saw. F. Gain nine block. Deal nine damage. Transform two spaces into doom spaces. Oh. Double dash, still three damage, move one, repeat this once. Hmm. Don't I have a curse? Nope. Uh, kind of want this kaboom one. Um. Kind of meh. So maybe this one. I might pick it up for this one. You have any unspent energy at the end of your turn? Draw that many cards at the start of the next turn. I like that. Because my hand is never full. Hmm. 
cool. Um, okay, bye. As you walk through a dense portion of the jungle, walls of trees seem to bend and twist into narrow pa a narrow passageway. You catch a flash of light reflecting off several pairs of eyes, skulking in the shadows near the tunnel of the trees watching you approach. Enter, explore the passageway, or leave and turn back. You decide to explore the strange formation of trees. As you walk the path, you are constantly surrounded by the rustling of leaves, hushed whispers, and muffled laughter. Eventually, you find yourself approaching a clearing in the dense trees with a strange effigy located on the stump right in the center. Just when you think you're walking right into an ambush, a small orange fox leaps from behind the tree and sits at the entrance to the clearing in front of you, eyeing you curiously. Before you can react, he speaks. Are you our new friend? Chattering voices suddenly fill the forest around you. I love new friends. Do you think this one will stay a while? Oh, it's been so long. I'm so excited to play with you. The fox speaks again. It's going to be so much fun. Don't you agree? Agree. Gain 5 max HP. Lose 10 HP. Disagree. Obtain a special relic. Become cursed shame. Run. Gain 200 gold. Become cursed normality. What's the special relic I get? Whenever you apply a weak, apply one additional weak. Whenever you apply vulnerable, apply one additional vulnerable. A hushed silence falls over the clearing. You can swear you see the fox expression change into one of deep sadness. You turn to look at the at a quiet sniffle to your right, but there is nothing. When you look back, the fox leader is gone. All that's left is a strange object on the stump, which you decide to take back with you, along with a sense of shame for having disappointed the forest critters. Interesting. It's so sad, though. I kind of want to see what happens if I gain XP. Though I really like this, I kind of want to see what happens. Hmm. Alright. Something about the playful foxes captures a rare part of your imagination. You decide to humor a fox, and before you know it, you find yourself caught up in their various games. Sometime later, you find yourself back at the entrance of trees. Out of breath, but we're a renewed vigor for your quest. Aw, I like that. Okay, we're gonna keep the HP. <laughs> what the hell? Pointy mushroom, shy mushroom, and energetic mushroom. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Um, you know, I guess I could have special master mastered that and then moved up there. Let's do that. That was silly of me. All my positive spaces are in the same spot. Let's try that again, but better. All right. Also, I just realized I'm covering my board. Oh, give me my camera. Thank you. Hopefully this isn't in the way of anything else right now. There we go. Um, okay, that does the same thing. So now I activate that instead. So if I do, hold on, if I do happy hit instead, I'll upgrade a card and apply a week to everybody. Nice. Oh, it upgraded this. Could upgrade another card. Okay. 
Oh man. I froze it. There we go. All right. Awesome. There we go. Dig deep. Lose one strength, transport two random empty spaces into strength spaces. Hmm. I kind of want this immortalize. Add one kaboom to your discard pile. I like that one too. Mm, this one's upgraded. I want that. Oh no. Nice. That was unexpected. Um. What does this do? Right. Um. Go ahead and play this. Screw you. I think I can just kill you. Maybe not. Okay. I can now, though, so it's okay. Or that can. You know, one of the two. Activate the space two behind you. Bomb blaster. Shuffle one kaboom into your draw pile. Transform one empty space into a kaboom space. Transform a special random empty space into a damage space. And activate the space two blocks behind you. I kind of want bomb blaster, but... Mm. Let's do it. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. I like this little campfire. While looking for a place to rest after your latest battle, you find yourself amongst a field of flowers in full bloom. These appear to be shiny objects. There appears to be shiny op a shiny object just out of reach. Maybe if you tried hard enough, you could grab it. Reach, obtain star compass. Harvest, obtain a, a eternal fortune. Pump pick up, raise your max HP by three. Occasionally run into more eternal fortune. 
Right clicking on the stream contact to activate. Holds the deepest secrets of the spire. Perhaps if you are worthy. Expert exerting all your effort, you stretch your arm as far as it will go. On the cusp of pulling a muscle for a hard metal object, grab it and make off with the fruits of your labor. Hmm. Should upgrade a card or I could shop. I don't have a whole lot of money. Um. I don't want to upgrade cards, but at the same time, like... Convergence. Uh, Halation. Reset your health deck and gold and relics to what they were at the start of the act. Generate a new version of the current act and start from the beginning. Lose 20 max HP. Oh. Grapevine. Every third attack you play applies to Constricted. Hell to the X. I want that. I want to look at these, though. Transform two random empty spaces into draw spaces. Draw spaces, draw one card and pass. Deep. Deep. Transform two random spaces into strength spaces. Gain two strength. Transform two spaces into... Random spaces into doom spaces. Pepe Pepega. Small sprint. Move one, gain two, block, deal three damage. And then smack. Smack what? Smack slam. Okay. Or a random space. Okay, I kind of want this. Thank you. Can I actually sell this? Hey, I can. Because it was an on palm pickup, so. Nice. Um. Kind of want to get rid of it, but at the same time, I don't. Gonna get end up with a curse, but. Eh. Alright, let's go. Gunfinger. Start of each turn, gain three strength until the end of turn or until you play an attack. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and fight this elite. <laughs> what are you? Cassacara. Carnivorous. Consumes carcass sacks. Killing HP equal to their HP and gaining three strength for each carcass sack. What the fuck? Ugh. <sighs> Gonna use a buff. What buff are you gonna use? Um. Uh oh. I just wanted I I just wanted to know what your buff was. Hold on. I didn't start with a very good hand. I just want to know what your buff is. Hmm. I activate the next two positive spaces first. Huh. That changed what I did. All right, then. Oh, you gain strength. Interesting.
Okay. Ooh, that constricted stays on? Hell yes. I have one weak. I like that. I want this. Two. Wait. Let me do there and two more would put me at go. Let's do this. That would put me just past go. Or just before go, I should say. All right. Nice. Perfect. Slimy hat. Smiley hat. Start a combat, transform a random empty space into a positive space. Nice. Now I have two hats. Just one of three power random power cards and add it to your hand across zero this turn and add a card. Uh, swap two spaces on the board. Um. Deal 8 damage if you're on go, gain energy, and draw a card. Hmm. I like go blast, but it's going to be very unlikely that I'm actually going to do that. And what fucking thing did I just get? Wrath. Autoplay. Deal 5 damage to a random enemy. Place a copy of this card into your discard pile. How is that a curse? Okay. Good curse. Good curse. I'll take it. Thank you. Um, am I about to fight any elites? Maybe. Can I upgrade that? No? Okay. Um, I'm going to upgrade this so it costs less because... Ouch. Hello? Jungle hunters? Okay. Uh... I guess I'm going to start on you. Wow. Oh. oh well. Um... I do that one two and then one two if I go here one two one two or I can land here and do that there So. All right. <sighs> okay. Uh, another charge fourth. Kind of really like charge fourth. And there's also this. I like that. A lush green filled. A lush green field leads you with a curved fl and flowered log arch as the entrance. 
Etched on it, it reads stock market. Heh, <laughs> stock market, that's funny. As you explore this curiously peaceful area populated with varying denizens of the jungle, you understand what this place is about. It's the largest gathering center for exotic plants and crops, with each creature holding harvest yields with stock certificates. Scattered around are many plots and gardens where everything grows. You enter one and are greeted by a dapper-looking ecstatic gremlin. I've never seen your face here. You must be new to the stock market. Would you like to buy stock from this plot? We have special fruits and vegetables like no other. And vegetables no other plot have. Just a visitor. Oh, I understand. But we have plenty of harvest for adventures on the go as well. The gremlin gives you a personalized tour of the field. She wasn't kidding. You don't recognize any of these plants. Not even from before the spire blight. And over here we have flamingo, flamangos. Flamangos. Sweet and spicy. My personal favorite, just right here, is the cream berry. They're so rich in, flav in flavor inside. So interested? Also, please note we only allowed to sell one harvest per visitor. Parsnip. Lose 90 gold. Gain a special relic. Flamingo. Shell peas. Cream berry. I don't know what any of these do. Uh. I kind of don't want to. can't look it up here uh what does creamberry do common and rare cards in the future card rewards are now upgraded creamberry the absolute delicacy delicacy whoever created this really knows what mouth watering is like after rinsing with water you soak your farm fresh creamberry into your mouth it's absolutely it's an absolute delicacy indeed okay so i know what the creamberry does now i'm gonna see what all of them do because i have managed to look at all of them that way i'll know for future rewards as well you know, if I actually remember. Parsnip. Upgrade all basic cards. Parsnip, a simple but healthy choice. Many of the stockholders for this feed feed this to the kids. Still great for grown-ups. After rinsing with water, you take a bite out of the farm fresh parsnip. You feel invigorated. Upgrade all basic cards. I like that. I like that. Parsnip upgrades all basic cards. Flamingo. Whenever you play an attack, deal two damage to all enemies at the end of your turn. Flamingo. Spicier than you think. Almost as spicy as the notorious apparition peppers. If you're with hot water, you slice your farm fresh flamingo into chunks. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. I kind of like that one. Extra damage to all enemies. That's pretty cool. Try again. And see what the last one is. Shell peas. Whenever you're attacked, gain two temporary HP. Shell peas, they have quite the texture. Just crunch on the big pea and chew the tiny ones. After rinsing with water, you f try out your farm fresh shell peas. You feel tough. Whenever you're attacked, gain two temporary HP. Oof. Kind of like the idea of all my basic cards upgraded, though. I think I'm going to take the shell peas. Thank you. Um, this could be a death sentence. Frog. All right. Game over. Ethereal. You can no longer move. Whenever you move, deal that much damage to all enemies instead. Oh my. Whenever a kaboom goes boom, gain energy. Uh, transform two random empty spaces into block spaces. I kind of really like this one, but I like moving. Let's try this one. Let's just try and see what happens. Also, I never clicked on this. I dropped it. Maybe I was supposed to use it earlier. And it was like still lit up.
Was I supposed to use it right away? Because I completely forgot that it even existed. I just keep dropping it. Um, slay the spire. What mod is it from again? Collation Star Compass. Apparently, other people have this uh, confusion too. Um, I'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, let's do this first. I'm gonna do this again. And oh, is it you? Um, all right. Never mind. I don't get to know. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Pretty interesting, the spatial, uh, whatever it's called again. Oh, you took my stuff. Okay. Mouth bags. Bomb pickup. Choose a card. Increase its damage and block by four. How about this one? Because I get damage and block on it. Language potion. Okay. I'm feeling lucky. Deal five damage. Move three. If you land on a negative space, transform it into a positive space first. Deadly dash. Deal four. Move one. If you land on a positive space, play this again. Oh my. Shuffle one kaboom into your draw and discard piles. Uh, I guess I can get this. Take a nap. And continue on my merry way. Mushroom. Okay. Oh no, I can't see. It's the foliage. I have no idea what the spaces are. Uh, all right. Mm, I'm going to keep that right now. Okay, it'll move me to this empty space. It'll move me here. Move me here, and this will move me this, and this can move me to that. Which I'm kind of mad about. Ow! What? All right. Um. No. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Where am I? I actually have no idea where I'm at. Hold on. So I'm here. So I'll activate that, which I'm kind of mad about. Let's go ahead and use this. And yeah, let's use that. Um, I'm going to get another good barrel. I have no reason to do that. Yeah, look at all the temporary health. Okay. Uh, what does this do? Cool. Um, three will put me there, and another three will put me there. Let's do this first, and this. And I guess that's... Alright. Finish all enemies. And okay. Oh my. Where am I? Am I landing there? Let's do that. Uh, okay, no wake. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. Well, fine. <clears throat> All right. Move there, I can move that, move there. Okay. No reason to draw a bunch of cards. Hey, there's White Plane. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Yes, please. Whenever a kaboom goes boom, apply three poison to all enemies. Shuffle a kaboom into your draw pile. Kaboom! Hell yeah. Let's do that. Every nine cards played, makes, make one card in hand for free this turn. Hell yes. Uh, yeah. Bartender. Okay. Let's 
starts at nine. That's pretty cool. Oh no. <sighs> That's concerning. Um, I have a decent amount of gold. There's this uh, guy up there I can go to if I go this way so I can get these. Is there a cat on the balcony? Is that why they're barking? All right. Go ahead and do this. Ooh. Is that going to hurt me, though? Uh, no? Okay, cool. Uh... That was dumb. I could have played that and then the other one. Hold on. That way I can get rid of that guy. Alright. <sighs> Let's start with this. And do this. And then we're gonna do... Uh, this. And I can move two spaces or I can gain block in these two spaces, so. Okay. Cool. Ow. Um... this step do? Right. I'm going to make you cost zero. And put up. Nice. <laughs> more block bombs, confounding moves, and a sideways barrier. Uh, I kind of want more block bombs. I think I would really like boom. But it's also a power. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Got another wrath. Uh, bum rush, Tempest Blades, or Charge Forth. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna fight. Alright. Um, that's not a good idea. Make ooh, this cost zero. Maybe I should have activated this. 
Wait, didn't I lose this? Oh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Okay. Bicycle wheel. Every 10 cards you play again, and strength and dexterity and draw a card. Cool. Hop shield. Gain 7 block, move 5, move 1. And from 2 spaces, run in the empty spaces into draw spaces, draw one card when passed. Move 1, gain 2 block, deal 3 damage. Small sprint. Um, yeah, I like that. Let's do it. Okay. Nice. Um Bum rush and bum rush. Doesn't matter if I lose an energy because I already played it. Cool. Oh. All it takes is a small sprint. Gain nine block, transform a random, random negative space into an empty space. Bomb shield, gain six block, add one kaboom to your discard pile, move two. Lose one strength, transform two random empty spaces into strength spaces. Mm. Hmm. Oh, I don't like you one bit. Okay, um, let's do this. Uh, defend. Okay. Now. Uh, ba 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 da.
Okay. Ow. Okay. Hell yeah. Um. All the kaboom. Give me all the temporary HP. Hey. Hell yeah. That's not all. Deal five damage. If you're on a positive space, deal five damage again. I like that. I can hear it. Um, I just, whatever. I don't know. Awesome. Uh, is this considered a positive space? I guess so. I'm gonna die. I am straight up gonna die. There is nothing I can do about it. There has gotta be something else I could do. Um, is there an intangible? I have to set up for an intangible. I don't think there is though. Mm. Possibly this though. <sighs> Let's start with this. Screw you. Um, what? Well then. Um. Play that, and then I use hat move to move here. Do extra damage. Okay. And then mm -hmm. I'm already dead. What the hell? What did I do different last time? I don't understand.
Also, I want to see if I can click on the star again. Nope. I am not worthy. Maybe I need something else to be worthy. I don't know. Or maybe I need, like, full health or something. What did I do different? I gained an extra energy for hat move, right? Okay. And then I did what? This. I did this. And then I went around again. Made him weak. And then I can't do anything else. Yeah, I guess I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do. Okay. Good run, good run. I really like the bandit. The uh, movement scheme is really cool. Hey, 444. Okay, well... It was a good one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Because the internet's setting out. Bye.